Hey, hi everyone. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to take the user input using the command line in Node.js, right? So that we can do with the help of a simple method in Node.js, which is process dot argv, right? After this, we need to put a bracket, and inside this, we have to give a value. Now, what is this particular value? Let me explain you this thing first, right? So at the first, we need to write two here. Well, after writing two, you can take the first user input, right? Now, if you want to take more user input, you need to just keep add on the one in that particular value inside the bracket. So if I want to take the second user input, I have to write three. Now taking the third user input, I have to write four, then five, then six like this. But remember that for taking the first user input, we have to start from two, right? And we use this process dot argv. Let, now let me show you the practical example of it. So what we will do, we will simply just take a variable that is let's say the value one equals to. Now after that, what we will write, we will write process dot argv and put the bracket. Now what value we will write? We will write two here, right? For the first user input, we will write two like this. Now after that, we will just simply print it. So for printing it, we will write console dot log bracket inside this particular bracket we will, what we will write we will write that the first value is basically is basically what let's the value one right this so just let's see that how we can give our value so what do you think will i get any special terminal for writing the input no, that's not the thing. We have to write it with the help of node script.js by which we start our project, right? We need to give our value along with that. So just simply write node script.js in the terminal. After writing this, you have to give the input after this script.js, which is the main file, right? Just simply uh, press enter, make the space and give your particular value. Since we have to take only one value here, we will write 10, right? after taking this press enter so you can see that i got the result like the first value is 10 so this 10 is given by me and it is printing that particular value with the help of this console.log right that means we have given our input with the help of the command line now if i want to take more input in that particular case i explain you that we have to use same thing just keep increasing the number so just simply just copy it after copying it paste it again let's change this number from 2 to 3 like this and take this value as value 2 right now i want to uh, print the sum of it so for that purpose for that purpose let's say okay let me rewrite it okay we will use a template itself this time right so the sum is let's create like this after that uh, value 1 plus value 2 like this right now let's see that whether the both values which i'll give will get summed or not right so i will just save it and go to the terminal after going to the terminal i will just write add on one more number so after 10 the second input let's say 20 so if i press enter so what it has given me the sum is 10 20 so basically it has not given me the add, added value it has just what it has just concatenated the both the values which i had given as a what which i had given as a input right so why it happened because basically uh, when we give any particular input it gets to the uh, project in the form of a string right so for converting it into the integer what we need to do we need to just parse it into the int right so we'll use the parse int method so just simply just wrap it inside a bracket like this and in the starting just write parse and then int parse int simply like this so let's just copy it paste it here also right paste it here also and change it to 3 like this let's just save it and again i will start the our project right no description.js 10 20 press enter now this time you get the sum here because this time whatever the input that you are giving is actually converted into the integer with the help of this parse int method got it and then we used it 
So this is how actually we take the user input using the command line in Node.js. I hope you understood the concept very clearly. If you want to add more in user input, you just need to keep increasing what? This particular number, right? So make sure that you have to do that, right? Now, this is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.